Okay, so this is my 2010 Saab 95 Aero. If you guys haven't ever, ever watched any other videos, I've had this car for about a year. Actually, a year and like three months now. And uh, it's a 2010, which if you guys don't know, 2010 does not have the keyless entry. It does not have a remote start. It doesn't have the advanced parking assist or the um, sunroof. Well, the sunroof I don't care about because they suck. Well, they're they're awesome, but they suck to fix. That's what I'm doing on that 95 over there. But um, yeah, that's why it's it's nice not to have to have a sunroof. But I would love to have a remote start, and I have not seen any information about putting the factory remote start on these. I know you could can aftermarket, but I don't want all these extra wires and have to have just adding things that I know it could be done from the factory. So. Today we'll start the journey of adding a factory remote start. To start off, I've already got this to work and I have figured it out. And so let me just show that to you guys. Here's the key, you need one of these and you need a BCM, you need a laptop, one of these devices which I'll link down in the description and you'll need an active subscription to the AC Delco TIS or um, the Saab TIS if you're in the UK and you don't have access to that. But, um, or any, any other part of the world that doesn't have access to that. But hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. So how you do it is you hit the lock and then you hold the remote start button. You'll see your park lights flash here and then it starts. And as you can see, oops, there is nobody in the vehicle. So, I'll show you guys what you have to do. It's actually kind of a long process. And I'm sorry about the wind noise. That is why I am recording in the garage, but I'll uh, be showing you guys what you need to do on the car. And the first thing you need to do is you need to remove your factory BCM. And I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, so we're in the car now and the factory BCM is just behind this. So there's a tab right here and a tab right Hopefully you guys can see with the sun right here. And hopefully you guys can hear me with the wind. And then you just push in on both of them. I can't hold the camera and do it. And then that should just pull right off. Next, what you need to do is remove this thing. And it's easy if you remove this as well. There's just um, four sevens. Just one down here. So let's get ahead and remove that with a seven millimeter socket. there for now okay so now we got to take pull get this out of the way and to do that you see these little tabs right there and there's one on this side push in on those and pull this down I don't know if I could do this one-handed or not Okay, there we go. You see, this is pulling down, and now we'll lift it up. Just like that. And you guys won't have that extra wire. I know, I should have made that look a little bit nicer. Okay, so, now I'll just move that out of the way. We could just leave it hanging for there, but you're gonna wanna move it out of the way here in a second. So, here are, there's six connectors total on this. Here, I'm gonna set the camera down. So you wanna grab this bottom one and disconnect your battery too. That's always a smart thing to do. Push it on the tab, release it just like that. Same with this one and this one. Now we can move this out of the way Pull these wires up and slide that out of the way right there. Now the, oh, there's seven, seven connectors total. Okay, so now these ones are a bit more challenging. I use a plastic screwdriver because the wires are on the side of the tab. And you could go in on the inside, I don't know if you guys can see that, 
but you could go in, push a tab in with a little screwdriver, or if you have small fingers, you may be able to do it. But, so I'm gonna unplug those, and then we'll remove the BCM. Okay, so now with all the connectors and plugs, you see you have a tab here and a tab up there. Just press them out. It's hard to do it one-handed, but press them out, and the BCM should slide right out. Just like that. So now we will go on to the computer. Okay, so this is our stock BCM. You see the part for 2010. You see the part number. This is a used one I bought from a Chevy Traverse. It's, uh, that's where it came off of, I believe. And the part number doesn't correlate anything with the sob, but um, tested and works just fine. But I'll show you what you have to do to make it work. This one is from a Cadillac SRX. It also is the same part number that you'd see on a Saab 95 on some of them. And tested and of course works. I'll show you what you need to do because GM has these locked down so you're not be so you can't reprogram them if they're used unless you have the pin code which most of the time you don't. So um, in the video description I'll have a file that you could download from my I'll probably have it on a Google Drive and you will be able to flash it to this to any of these part numbers as long as they're the same art arc like the same board which most of these are and it will work so let me uh, show you how to open these up and it's pretty easy as you can see I actually broke the tab off this one but there's a clip here so let's get a little tiny little plastic tool and pry over that and there's a clip on this side so let's get that removed and we'll open it up okay so this is with the board off um, you can see that it is different than our 2010 if you opened up that one which we will here in a little bit and what you're looking for, so if you flip it over, you will see this little EEPROM right there. See right there. And that's where this tool comes in. These are cheap, I got mine off eBay. And uh, what we're going to do is clip it onto pin 1 on here, and which is this bottom left, like, so you see the writing. I don't know if you guys could see that. Bottom left is the number one pin. Pink on this wire is number one, so you'll clip it on there, which I'll do off video because this clip sucks. So if you're gonna do this lot, there I just ordered a new clip that's supposed to be a lot better than these cheap ones, since I'll probably be doing this quite a few times. And then plug this into the computer, and we're gonna open up the program on the laptop and flash the file that I made and that's in the description onto that so let's go do that okay oops so you're gonna open up that file that you downloaded which mine is there it is there it is and you're gonna want to program it to the chip I always do it a couple times just to make sure it went. Program. Program. Do it again. I just like making sure it works. Now let's just read it. And then I verify. Just to make sure everything worked. Okay, so now let's disconnect the tool, and we're going to hit read. It will show, back, show nothing. Now, connect the device back up to the chip. Hit read. Oh, maybe. And you can see that it took. So, that is all we need to do right now. Now let's go back to the car and we will be hooking it, this new BCM back into the car.